In this lesson, we'll learn about how to select options in and select input field like this. You can see we have different options which we can select. So let's go ahead and inspect the same. And you can see it is a select element with a label for the same. And we can use the get by label locator to locate it. So let's go ahead and create a select variable. And then we can just use page get by label locator. The locator is example select. Okay. And now to actually select an option, what we can do is use the select option method on the element. And to this, we can provide the option we want to select inside of strings. Let's say we want to select four. So I will go ahead and provide four here. Hit enter. You can see four getting selected. And similarly, I can select any other option. Like let's say two. I can select, let's say five. And any other option that's available here. Now, if I do enter an option that is not inside of it, let's say 10, you will see that it waits for the timeout to actually find the option and then result in a timeout error. You can see we got the error that is timeout of 30 seconds or 30,000 milliseconds is exceeded. So make sure that the option that you are passing is actually inside of the select input field. Now what we can do is go ahead and select multiple options as well. That is this one right here. Now to do that, let's go ahead and select it using its label. So we can say multi select, we'll use page get by label locator, provided the label. And now what we can do is again, use the select option method, but to this we'll provide a list of our options. So let's say we would like to select all the even numbers, that is two and four. So we can provide two comma four like this, hit enter, you can see two and four are selected. Similarly, we can select one, three, and five as well. You can see they are selected. So that's how you can use the select option method to select a single option or multiple options in the select input fields.